It's great to be a uh, part of something so prestigious. You plan a thousand things and then everything changes. It's exhausting because you're just like this. Oh, oh. The only way to come back with the engine, do what you can. You have to come here someday, Sean. Si le leader s'arrête pendant ces petits cars pour faire le plein, il se retrouve derrière toi. Et là, tu peux là, tu clôtures le doublé. Ouais, mais du coup, s'il s'arrête, s'il s'arrête, t'es plus dans, t'es plus en tour derrière, du coup, techniquement. Si il s'arrête, t'es plein tour derrière. Il peut petit à petit, avec un peu de bol. Il pourrait rattraper des tours, mais, mais il vraiment un peu de bol. Il faut vraiment beaucoup de bol. Hein. Salut, tu vas T'es en forme Salut. Ouais. Yeah, mate. It's all good. I am British, but I live in California with my American wife and American kids. And I love racing. You know, I think it's funny because you have, in F1, you have F1 drivers. And then you have drivers that are racing drivers. And I'm definitely a racing driver. I want to drive everything. And I've driven lots of different things over the years. And I think this year's Le Mans 24 driving the Garage 56 car is one of the most exciting cars I've, I've ever driven and biggest challenges as well. I heard the wise words from one of my old teammates, Alexander Wurtz, back in the day when I joined him at Peugeot uh, for 2010. And he told me, do everything slower. Talk slower, walk slower, think slower, until you get in the car. And I still apply that same mentality today to this event, even though I'm not driving the car, because everybody feels that, that extra weight, that extra emotion and extra fatigue that, uh, that goes into this. One minute under one minute to start hyperpole. On board with Antonio Fuoco. That he's is done. the Kessel Racing Ferrari, but he's got a second in hand, Ant. There's Fuoco, does he go quicker? He does, he does go quicker, but Pierre Guidi's got more in the locus. We were going to be at 1.2 seconds off, in my opinion, which is uh, 37 kilos. Come on, Brenda. Come on. What's the time? What does he get? 1.4 back, so he moves up onto row two and third fastest time. That's why it's important to keep pushing. Kamu Kobayashi comes back at him, third fastest, but he's a front row lockout for the first time in 50 years for a factory Ferrari team at Le Mans. Good. Anyway, first job done. Yes. Nice work, man. 
good job, buddy. Later. We keep going, you know. We tick the boxes. Knowing that it was the centenary of Le Mans, it started back in 1923, the history, the heritage that this race has brought us, I did have moments where I kept thinking, I'm going to remember this. I remember most of them, but I knew that there were points I'm thinking, I need to take this in right now because I'm going to remember it and have that as my story, one of my stories for a long time to come. And it is a three, what are we? Oh, 352, 376. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey. Thanks, Alan. Bonjour. It was like six seconds faster than any lap I did in practice. Six seconds. Wow. It's an eternity. <laughs> I, I just, I never felt comfortable in the car, but when I got out there uh, with the setup we had then, ah, it was magical. Special code. Oh. So. This is where I'm staying for the whole two weeks. Very nice. Yes, on est dans la navette et puis on va arriver dans les paddocks. Je pense c'est là les gars. Comment ça va Bien C'était le voyage ouais. C'était cool alors cette semaine de camp ouais. C'est vrai Moi j'ai besoin aussi de, de les avoir. C'est sûr que être loin de la maison souvent c'est pas toujours simple. Et puis je trouve ça aussi cool qu'ils puissent voir. Euh, différemment euh, ce, que je peux, ce que je peux faire au quotidien, euh, quelle est mon activité, et, et se rendre compte un petit peu euh, voilà, avec leur, leurs yeux de ce que ça représente. So, concerning the start itself, the weather seems a little bit unstable. Uh, we still don't know what we're going to have at the start. My target is, if the conditions are not good, my target is to go for extra formation laps. The start of the race is the most filmed part of the race. So let's have two lines of cars parallel and overtaking only once you have physically crossed the start line. I don't want to have a crash at T1. No. Let's be straight and honest. And it's a 24 hour race. Last year out of Tetra Rouge, that was it. The slow zone was, was removed. I accelerated up to 250. And then there was a yellow flag a bit, bit on that straight. And the guy was still at 80. So what I, happens? I, uh, you slow down to 80 or you pass him, you get the penalty? It's, it's, it's like this. I also say in the briefing notes that although I remove the slow zone, be alert for yellows because <laughs> something may happen and that's the first signal you have. I don't yeah. have a mathematical answer. No, no, for but that. The, the, the idea is you get a penalty or not. That's the point at the end. Those, you know. those cases are judged one by one. And if I yeah. see that there is a human mistake behind it, yeah. okay. I will. I will I will try to save the sporting truth of it as much as I can. First of all, enjoy it. Second of all, keep it safe. Okay? And don't forget the marshals are my eyes and my hands on track. You disrespect the marshal, I'll take it personally. Have a good race, gentlemen. Thank you.
choice is oh, the best colour. Yeah. Two's are trendy. Enjoy your start. Rain, rain, rain on the other side. Right? It's white, yeah, they should game on this one. But I don't think it's... It should dry. I think it's hard, man. Very hot, huh? No, it's not too bad, actually. 26, 27. Yeah. Well, time to go to eat. Then we'll see what the hell the weather's got for us. Yeah. <laughs> We hope for the best, man. Let's get to the finish line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The finish line and then see. But we have to also push a bit for the pace. Like, we don't want to drop back more than a lap, you know, with the safety car. If you get stay close, you can stay in the lead lap and then... But let's see, I mean, you plan a thousand things and then everything changes. <laughs> so. Rain, uh, I didn't get the last update. Oh, same. No, the risk is there, that's for sure. This race, Le Mans, uh, means the pinnacle of our sport. Uh, it's something that we as drivers hunt for victory every year. It's impossible to test here. Um, it's not like any place on earth where we can go there, we can practice, we can prepare. Here we only have the race week, we have one day testing, and then we are quick fire into the race. And when it goes right, it's, it's beautiful. When it goes wrong, it, it's painful, and you have to wait another 365 days to have another chance at, at conquering it. You can see there is some pressure from everybody that to try to do it well. But I mean, from our side, where I'm very proud is everybody work hard, but we never been so ready for, for the big one. You know? good though. Yeah, 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 I'm very proud of the guy. You know, yeah, we must to be honest. We struggled at the beginning. We were no, but you guys made some good steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we. If you just take in consideration where we were and where we are now to compare you, we are uh, we are in the game. You know, we we have some strengths, we have some weakness to compare you, but we are in the game. So, we enjoy the race. No, I go so. All right, take care. We see you somewhere, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Busy? But, um, I'm seeing you well. Yeah. And you, you good luck in the Ferrari, okay? Good luck, man. Don't, don't, push, man. don't push too much, eh? No. Good you, you. No, 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 no. You, you push too much. Good luck, man. Okay. Ready to go. Yeah. Big race. Yeah. Only one winner. All the years that the Le Mans has been so great to so many drivers and so many people in the community here. So uh, it's great to be uh, part of something that's so prestige and I'm um, happy to be a part of it. What, what went wrong, guys? <laughs> Something went wrong. Like you said, 14? Yes, yes. Uh, midnight. midnight. No, <laughs> starting the level. Starting. Okay. Go that after is, you. After going to stop. Ah, we can change. My, my. Okay, okay, change, change. change. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's already a long day before you get driving. Yeah, yeah the crew, especially, man. Look at that. Nous de la tyrannie, les temps d'un sanglant élevé. c'est les mecs qui rentrent et il reste 20 minutes avant le départ. That's rocket. It's a long one, huh? It's a long one. Stay calm. Stay calm. Exactly. Long. You long. did it. Our way. Our way. Thirty seconds to start the formation lap. Thirty seconds to start the formation lap. Okay, 
keep warming up the brakes, keep warming up the brakes. MGO on, middle of the Porsche. Okay, let's go in grid position now. Everyone is going to grid position. MGO on, MGO on. Sebastian Wemmy all fired up, takes the lead of the race from the pulses of Nick Nielsen as they come down into Indianapolis. Sebastian Wemmy leads and Mike Conway moves up into second. What has happened to the pace of the Ferraris? Toyota is on soft, they will struggle with tires, start to put some pressure on them. We want to put some pressure on Toyota, they are on soft, they start to struggle. Here comes Nicholas Nielsen, and right behind him, the 51 car, James Collado, who's been trying to get by as well for second place into the Mulsanne corner. Nielsen on the inside, through he goes. What has happened here? The number three Cadillac spun. Was he hit from behind? Twenty-one Ferrari A, of course, are they're in trouble. That's the Belgian driver Ulis de Pau. First of all, we were very worried because uh, you were dead and you didn't reply to the radio, we were scared. First of all, we were scared. Oh, trouble! That's the 709 Glickenhaus, Esteban Gutierrez. Thank you. 
Effectivement, il y a quelques toupies, mais au moins il ne touche rien. Did just came out of the wet? Uh, out of the car? Yeah. We both said the price. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, a lot of people crashing. Yeah, big time. Right there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Huge right now. Well done, man. Well done. It's crazy. Because like it's like a pool. As I went for the pit, I was like, "Am I right?" Because it was like, but it just started pour down and forward. And I was like, "I see Dixie come into the Porsche curves." I saw it on TV. I was like, "Oh my god!" I mean, he was that far. Yeah, he almost had to go around. Yeah. A lot of the track is good, but a chicane one and still more that. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous because there's zero visibility for chicane one and the both that. Under the rain, it should not be easy. No, so the last lap, we put. Attention. I talked with Johnson. On slip, that's it. He said, "It's in the water. It's impossible. You don't touch anything. You put it in four. You don't touch anything." Yes, exactly. Ça arrête là. Ok, face à côté d'Ambrey, on arrête tout, on va se coucher, il y a de la grêle. <rire> c'est ça, oui. Ouais, c'est trop mauvais, on arrive le matin, c'est hein. au coup de midi. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Yiffy Yi, already on the tail of the race leading Peugeot, flashing his lights. The number two Cadillac, the blue nose, is now up to third, but here come the Ferraris. never forget those images of, for the first time in my lifetime, seeing so many top flight hypercars, you know, the pinnacle of, uh, of sports car racing, the prototypes, all going for it, line astern. There were six, seven, eight of them, all in line. You never knew who was going to win this race for the first couple of hours. It was neck and neck, nose to tail. Everyone had their share of leading this race, you know, whether it was Cadillac, Porsche, Peugeot, they were in the mix, Toyota, Ferrari, they, they were all rotating. I think what I take away from this race is just what a close fight it was between so many top manufacturers. And that's all we could ever wish for. Look at the battle behind Yiffy Yi in the gold Jota car and alongside him Gustavo Menezes side by side. That is the lead battle. Dane Cameron's Porsche is right there as well with the white nose. Porsche Curves, and that is the Hertz Team Jota Porsche 963 of Yiffy Yi. It runs so far out wide before karting corner, ends up in the barrier. Is this going to pivot the car right round? Yes, it does. Yeah. That's a bigger, that's a much bigger moment than I thought it was. Okay. The quickest. Hey, hey, he just said, I want you to log that. He just said, I'm quite happy. Here is the crowd favorite. Smiles every lap for the drivers of the Hendrick Motorsport Chevy Camaro. The Garage 56 entry celebrating 75 years of NASCAR. I've been able to race in the Daytona 500 the Indianapolis 500. All of my friends that have competed at this race have said that it is unique to itself and bigger than. Um, I've been very fortunate to drive in the top category in IMSA 
um, would love to come here and participate in years to come in any category. You know, to have, have a real chance to race for a trophy here um, would be a great pleasure. arrived and so again has the rain and this will shake everything up. Okay, Richard, question? Yeah, I just can't hit C with this Wi-Fi. It's, it's so dangerous. Copy that, copy that. We are trying. in second, Toyota in third, a Cadillac in fifth, the best Porsches down at the tail of the top ten. You have to try to start the engine, try to start the engine. What happened? Can you tell us more? When I start the engine, car is not to run at all. It's no chance to run. We have to try to start the engine. The only way to come back is try to use the engine. Just try to burn out, try everything. We have to use the engine. We don't have enough sock to come back with the front motor. It's too early. The only way is to come back with the engine, do what you can. All cars to bear left at MT5, 6 and 7. leave the car, the car is uh, not drivable anymore, so yeah, for Christ's sake, it's over. Exhausting because you're just like this, trying yeah, yeah. to not crash. I tell you, 12 hours ago, we didn't expect to be seeing this. It's still early, but it's still better than expected. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
very chaotic race, and I think naturally that puts even more stress on everyone's shoulders, whether you're part of the strategy team in the, in, behind the scenes or whether you're the driver or the, you know, the, the car crew watching your driver at work. You could just see emotionally everyone was getting more and more drained as this race went on, and even in the commentary booth. The first couple of hours, I turned around to my colleagues and said, I'm not sure I can keep up this energy if this carries on for, uh, for, for 24 hours. Hats off to everyone that survived this one, because that was not easy. Cinq voitures toujours en course. Et en tête, l'écart qui se réduit un instant, Rio Irakawa n'a plus que 6 secondes 9 sur Alessandro euh, Pierre Guidi. All action, all Polish battle here. Polish driver Robert Kubica leading LMP2 for Team WRT. Polish team into Europol with Swiss driver Fabio Scherer. Now he's looking to make a move on the ex Grand Prix ace. Looking to go around the outside, Scherer. That's a good move to take the lead. Kevin, we see some damage to the underfloor. Okay. We try to continue, just take caution. Full service for the Ferrari. This is 51, your race leader. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. And there goes the Toyota, number eight, through into the lead. Turn the mechanics switch on. I appreciate it. Thank you a lot. <laughs> I'm all over. Fantastic. Congratulations for a fantastic race. Still, still one, one and a half hours. It's more finished. <laughs> no, up, up to the end, no, but, but good work. Thank well you very much. The gap is 16.0. Let's hunt them down. And, uh, 
you know, this is what we were doing, you know, just trying to put some pressure to Toyota to make a mistake. They could have just soaked up second place and not even challenged Ferrari and not given us the show and not displayed true grit and determination that we haven't seen from Toyota in a long, long time. And I said to uh, Kazuki Nakajima at the end of it, I said, you earned a lot of fans today because you're not seen as a machine anymore, pumping in these victories effortlessly. You're now seen as heroes in trying in defeat. And I think that's, that's what makes Le Mans Le Mans. Okay, man, the Toyota just left pit lane, so he is almost a lap down. Again, no risk, no risk. Grandstands filling, 325,000 fans watching the Centenary Le Mans. There's John Elkin, the boss of Ferrari. and endurance is this emotional roller coaster. You can have the highs and you can have the lows. So of course there's gonna be emotions and tears. There were many occasions when I was speaking to people in the last couple of hours of this race where I was gonna cry, they were gonna cry, and we were just all trying to hold it together. From start to finish, the Centenary Le Mans has been a race for the ages and it will have a historic winner. 50 years since Ferrari last entered the top class at Le Mans, they return, they take pole, and they win. Sebring that Ferrari had the pace to qualify that car but it was all about could they last the distance. I spoke to James Collado after this race and he said the longest that car's done is eight hours. 24 hours later they won and I know how much effort all of those team members have put in from the drivers, the mechanics, everybody has come together and really put they're all into this project. And I do believe it was theirs to win. Probably was some content was advisory. You were on it, you had the purple sector on your yeah. left drive. And Ria was oh, starting to lock, I heard from uh, Brendel, starting to lock the rear. Yeah, we had a bit of issue, and for whatever reason, I, I must not crash. crash. You had to crash. You might not have one second, I mean, uh, I mean you might not have one first anyway. You were second, you should, uh, should be proud. But Congratulations. Congratulations. I understand. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it's a tough one. Yeah, 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 but it it shows you want to get first. Yeah. That was yeah. Yeah. Without the experience, you're going to get We don't play safe here. And certainly don't do you as well, so there's no doubt that you pushed for the win. 
Yeah. 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 Famous. Thank Finally. Guys. Thanks, guys. Finally, you have something to talk to the media hey, about. <laughs> Come, Fabio. We are Hast du dir verdient? Yeah, I heard you coming with a little issue. I told you to push the maximum. We were looking for you. That's why we. Come back to There's going to be many more. It's a little bit too long. It must not crash. Ah. Gigantic so, so, race. Really strong race. Complicated. Uh, what when the, the, the last uh, yeah. the last power recycled? <laughs> last. Uh, uh, yeah, another one. Um, there was another yes, one. Yes, another one. Uh, two hours uh, there. You have to come here someday, Charles. One day. Okay. One day. One day for sure. I mean, I would love to. It's my first time, but I've always. It's your first time here? To yeah, it's my first time. But I, I, def I definitely want to do this. It's unbelievable. It's incredible. Hey, done, done, done. Okay, and now. Okay, man.